key areas in Photoshop CC and CS6. Welcome to this video where we'll talk about Photoshop's interface, its main components and where your focus should be directed. I'll work in Photoshop CC with a blank project opened, but everything I'm about to say applies to CS6 too. The only difference between them are slight changes in the interface. This doesn't have any effect over your workflow. The first big part you have to know about Photoshop is the two main areas you'll be working on constantly. The white part is called the canvas. This is where all the magic happens, where you draw, paint, lay out things and so on. This is where your focus should be at all times because this is the most important area. The rest of the interface is there for supporting purposes. On the left side you have your tools panel. This area of Photoshop should be accessed 90% of the time by using your hotkeys. Like I said, the canvas is the hero here, so your mouse cursor should hover over that area at all times. So if you want to grab a tool, just use your hotkeys. You'll start learning them soon enough. Directly related to the canvas is the Layers panel, which you can open by going to Window, Layers. Once you open this up, it should remain open at all times, and you'll find out why that's the case in a lecture down the road. The Layers panel is the second most important part of your interface after the canvas. So think about driving a car. The canvas is the road, while the Layers panel is the dashboard. You glance at it from time to time to get important information like speed, revs, fuel levels, etc. But you should never focus 100% on it unless you want to crash really fast. So to recap, first the canvas, second the Layers panel, third the Tools panel by way of hotkeys. Continuing, we have at the top of Photoshop this menu, which contains all sorts of options and features that are available to you. We'll use it from time to time, but the most important ones have hotkeys and it's much faster to use those instead of going through them here. Also, this area is less used than the Tools panel, so with that said, it lands at number 4 in my book. Immediately underneath it, you have an area which changes constantly depending on what tool you have selected. Right now I have the first tool active, the Move tool, and I know that because I can see its icon is pressed. If I click on Other Tools, notice how this area changes. Basically, this is your information zone where you can see and modify the settings for each tool. This is fairly important, but it really depends on the type of work you're doing. Having that in mind, I won't be ranking it because its usefulness varies a lot. Going back to the canvas, remember we made a new document? This is set up in a tab. If we repeat the process, so Control n you'll see a second tab has appeared at the top. This is called Untitled 2 because we didn't choose a different name for it. To browse between tabs, you can use Control tab That's the most efficient way. Remember the goal is to keep your cursor around the canvas area. Alternatively, you can simply click on its name and it will be brought into focus. Let's check out the naming structure. It's Untitled 1 at 100%. This means the project has no name, untitled meaning no title, and we're looking at it without being zoomed in or out. So we're at 100% zoom level. Easy enough. After that it says RGB8, which refers to the colour profile. In this case, RGB, which stands for red, green and blue, and 8 being the number of bits per channel. Now notice something. If I do anything inside the project, say I draw a shape, the name changes. We get Untitled 1 at 100% as before, but now we have Shape 1, RGB 8, followed by a star or an asterisk, whatever you want to call it. Shape 1 is the current layer that's selected, but more importantly the asterisk shows you the project is unsaved. This is very useful when working because from time to time you need to save your progress. The reasons for that are obvious, so if you see this symbol that means the document is not saved and it's a nice reminder. That doesn't mean you have to make it go away. Any change whatsoever will make the asterisk appear again, but its role is to get you to notice the state of the project. More about saving your work a bit later on. Moving on, Photoshop works with panels. If you go to Window at the top, you'll see you have a ton of them. Remember we opened up the Layers panel that way? This seems a bit overwhelming, but please keep in mind that you don't have to work with all of them. Depending on the type of work you're doing in Photoshop, you'll probably use only a few of them. One thing before we go is that all I described so far, the interface, has a name. It's called the workspace. 